Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to delete files using the trash. So in my new book, the MacMost.com Guide to Switching to the Mac, I talk about deleting files using the trash can, which is very useful for people who have just switched from Windows to the Mac and are using the Mac for the first time. Let's take a look. The basic process for deleting files consists of two steps. Move the file into the trash folder and then empty the trash. The trash folder is a holding place for files that you no longer need. It is represented on the dock by a trash can icon all the way to the right side of the dock. Double click on that and you get a finder window that looks pretty much like any other finder window. You can even set it to icon, list, or column view. The trash folder is similar to the Windows Recycle Bin, but it isn't an icon on the desktop, but instead in the dock. It also won't automatically delete files as it grows in size, like the Recycle Bin. There are many ways to put a file in the trash. You can simply drag its icon from any Finder window or the desktop into the trash can icon on the dock. You can also select the file and press Command plus Delete on the keyboard. Another way is to right click or control click on the item and choose Move to Trash. You can also choose File Move to Trash from the menu bar. When a file is in the trash, there is no need to rush to empty the trash for most casual computer users. The whole idea of the trash is to give you time to change your mind. It may turn out that you threw away the wrong file or that you actually did need that file a few weeks later. It is not uncommon for the trash to hold days or even months of old, unwanted files. When you do want to empty the trash, all you need to do is choose File Empty Trash or you could control click on the trash can icon in the dock and choose Empty Trash. Or you could open the Trash Finder window and look for the Empty button on the right side near the top. One option is to use File Secure Empty Trash instead of just plain Empty Trash. The difference is that Secure Empty Trash overwrites the blocks on your hard drive that contain the files, making it impossible to recover the file contents. Otherwise, Empty Trash just tells the Finder to forget that those files existed and reuse those blocks the next time it needs them for something else. So that gives you a bit of an idea of some of the basics that the book covers in the early chapters. To find out more about the book, go to macmost.com/book. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.